Jamaica. In the Comprobe shooting at Montague's house, the Independence Commission of Investigations in the Comas launched a probe into an accident in which a police constable reportedly accidentally discharged his weapon at the house of Member of Parliament Robert Bobby Montague in Arakabessa, St. Mary. The incident reportedly occurred about 9 a.m. Monday while two constables were at Montague's house carrying out close protection duties. It is understood that a gun accidentally discharged after one of the cops handed his weapon to his colleague to hold while he went to relief. There were no reported injuries in the incident. It is still unclear whether Montague, who is the PM for St. Mary Western, was at the house at the time of the incident. Supermarket Supervisor Suspect in Archer's fraud case nap in Kingston Airport the major organization of the crime corruption agency MOCA today arrested and charged 36 year old Ricardo Golden, a key suspect in an ongoing investigation into an alleged $8 million fraud case at the Archers as he attempted to board a flight at the Norman Mali International Airport in Kingston. According to Mayor Basil Jarrett, Director of the Communications at MOCA, Golden is the fifth person to be arrested in connection with the investigation that has been ongoing since 2018. Others charged are Anna K. Finn Thirell and her husband Michael Thirell, former employees at the Art Trust, as well as Tisha Buckner and Shamar Bell. They are all known before the courts. Mocha said all five are alleged to have been part of a conspiracy to fraudulent move money from the art trust to the accounts of people who were neither employees or contracted workers of the entity. Golden was picked up by Mocha agents after he failed to report to the agency for questioning as instructed. Mocha said he was charged with receiving stolen property, conspiracy to defraud and money laundering and is scheduled to appear in the courts later this week. Mayor Jerry praised the NMIA police for their support in carrying out today's operation and lauded the team for their swift and professional conduct. He also reminded individuals to continue to report instances of corruption and organized crime to MOCA's newly created tip hotline 888-MOCA-TIP. Massacre upcoming music video behind the scene. Dancehall artist Javon Ferran, professionally known as Masika, continues to tease new music behind the scene footage of the update DJ in Fleming, what appeared to be his latest music video, has been released online. Following his partnership with New York based recording label Def Jam Recordings in February, Masika announced in March that the follow up album is to his debut album 438 and had been completed. 438 was well received by the artist's fans and has been well praised as one of the best, if not the best, dancehall albums released in the last decade. Masika has since been teasing new music as fans patiently wait the release of his next major project. In a post caption shorting new new, the image DJ shared a photo of an apparent yet to be released music video on his Instagram on April 28th. In the new behind the scene footage circulating on social media, Masika can be seen rocking similar attire in the photo. While Masika vibed to the music in the background on a motorcycle, videographer filmed the DJ and the extras on the set of the shoot.